a distinguished career at the University of Pittsburgh, still drafted behind five other quarterbacks. Despite those long odds, he played well enough to earn a statue outside the Dolphin Stadium, which is actually only slightly less mobile than he was as a quarterback. <laughs> After a decade of playing in the NFL, Marino burst onto the national scene in the 1995 film Ace Venture, a pet detective, also appeared in the Hootie and the Blowfish video, I Only Want to Be With You, as I did, but I never made Darius Rucker cry. Please welcome the Hall of Famer, Dan Marino. That was, I enjoyed that. Okay, good. Yes, <laughs> that's cool. I was, I was worried about the statue line. No, it's, I, well, there is, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> what was your 40 well, yard dash out of college? Uh, I want to say 4'8. Okay. Something like that. I mean, I wasn't, yeah. So it was yeah, reasonable. Was right. Yeah, reasonable. Yeah. And I started getting knee operations and that went south. What were you at the end of your career? Uh, six flat. <laughs> 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 You look good. What's up? You I'm look, trying. Yeah, I'm trying. How do you do it where you look better every year? It's Nutrisystem. Oh. <laughs> there we go. By the way, Dan Marino yeah. joining us on behalf of Nutrisystem. We'll get Thank to you, Dan. We'll get to that later. We'll get to that coming yes. up here. Uh, you know, when I we were thinking about... You mentioned Hootie and the Blowfish. They're going back on tour. I know. I saw that, yeah. Yeah. You're going to go? You're going to go? Yeah. Tour? I met them 24 years ago. So they're they're celebrating their 25th year. How many concerts do you think you've gone to with Hootie and the Blowfish? At least 25. Have you? Yeah. Over and, the years. And, okay, so Darius Rucker grew up a Dolphins fan because of he you. Did. And then when you find out he names his daughter after you. Yeah. It's, right? It's cool. Yeah. He's a fan. So... Call, you know, her name is Danny. Yeah. yeah. So when he, does he call you and say, I'm going to name my daughter after he you? He didn't. He didn't call me. Okay. But then you find out. You find out later. So that's, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. He said he was actually, now, do you know this story about he was thinking about you when? <laughs> <laughs> He's mentioned it before, yes. <laughs> that's funny. That's yeah. Funny. Yeah. So during the process, he, he thought about you. It's amazing. He knew exactly when that was going to happen, too. Right? <clears throat> well, this is the one. <laughs> have you done? Have you ever signed an autograph and it's become a tattoo? Um, with with fans? You know, I think that's happened before. I don't think they told me they were going to do it, but you know, I've yeah signed on someone's arm before. And then your jersey's retired by the Miami Heat. Is that right? No, no. They they use thirteen, but they just put me up like a community. Oh, okay. Pat, yeah. Okay. Pat Riley did it. But you were a baseball Michael player. Michael Jordan's, too, in the, is in the stadium, too. Oh, it is? Yeah. So you were a two-sports star growing up, baseball, drafted by the Royals. Sure. So could you look at what Kyler Murray is doing? And, like, what it, if you had to do it again, we know you've got a Hall of Fame career, but how sure. much did you love baseball? More, did you love baseball <clears throat> more than football? Um, when I was younger, yeah, sure. But uh, as time went on, I think I felt like I would be a better football player. And I think I made the right decision. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, at the same time, uh, it's a different circumstance because this kid's in college. He already won the Heisman. You know, uh, I was coming out of high school. So there was a bigger gap there, you know. And like Elway was, he was already playing at Stanford. He was playing, yeah. You know, so it was, it was a little different circumstance. And, and I was also wondering about today's rules with quarterbacks that, you know, we keep waiting for Tom Brady to retire. And my whole point is, why would you retire if, if you're – the rules benefit you, sure. hard to get to you. Everything it feels like is less than two seconds of getting the ball, and you probably get had it out anyway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you had the <clears throat> quickest release of anybody probably in the history of the game. I mean, you could just stand back there and, and play. So why would Brady re retire? I, I would tell him not to retire. I mean, if he's playing at a high level, you know, once you're – problem is once you're done, you're done. Yes. So there's no, like, coming back. So, so uh, I, I think he can play for a few more years. You know, he's playing at a high level. What do you see? 42. When, what do you see? He's 42, when, right? 41. 41. Yeah. Could Making he, him older than he is. Could he play 45? I don't know. That's a tough one. But maybe. I mean. But what was your cool. arm like at 45? Not your mobility, your knees. But Actually, your, my arm was still pretty good. Yeah. My legs is really what. I mean, I, I could still. I mean, not, today I could still throw it halfway decent. How far could you throw it? Now? Yeah. I don't know, 40 yards maybe. 
No, you could throw it farther than that. Okay, 70. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay well, but a, I don't know, Dan. I don't know. That's a big jump from 40 to 70. How yeah. far could you throw it when you could really throw Probably it? Probably around 70 yards. Okay. Because yeah. yeah. Elway had a great arm. Yes, he did. No doubt. Randall Cunningham had a great arm. Mm -hmm. Now, they said that he could probably throw it 80 yards. Randall. I saw Randall throw it maybe further than that. It's those quarterback challenges yeah. that we had. Yeah, yeah, I think he threw it like 84 yards one time. And Mahomes looks like he could he bring it. He can sling it, too. Yeah. yeah. What do you see when you see Mahomes? I see a, a young kid that uh, can can throw it from any angle, you know, his arm angle. Yeah. Yeah, and, and and it's not as he's a little unorthodox in his style because it's not like, you know, turn and throw, make sure your shoulders, but he gets it done, and his arm, you know, can can make any throw, really, that he needs to make. But can you teach? He mentioned something about playing baseball and playing a yeah. shortstop, and you're throwing it from the side arm, you throw it over the top, you yeah. know, you're making turning a double play. I think that probably – some of that's in his passing game. But you were a pitcher, weren't you? Pitch, played shortstop, okay. drafted to be a third baseman. But but did help? Did pitching help you deliver a football, or did football help you deliver a baseball? I never really thought about that question. I, I think it's... Uh, Are there similar well, principles? No, no. It's, uh, baseball, if you're throwing a curve, or it's, it's, yeah, some of it's similar. But you're still planting but, on that left foot. When yeah, you, yeah, it's by, it's your it's your technique and all. It's just the same. But as far as throwing a football, you got to turn you turn your hand that way. Baseball, you throw. No, oh, you do. Yeah, that's how it spirals. I, well, I played freshman football, so I have an idea. <laughs> like we, so we have some. Was it flag? No, no, it was tackle. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was Just tackle. Wondering. I mean, it, <laughs> we were three and six. I, I couldn't pass it. No, we, it, but I, uh, yeah, we have something in common. I mean, we both play quarterback. <laughs> I mean, you can tell by looking at us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I look like. Uh, you look like you could have played for. Yeah. Yeah. For a freshman team. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. But I started. Uh, but no, I was wondering about that when when you uh, when you're looking at form and you're trying to create. Like it's everybody's similar. different. Yeah. No, though. yeah, that's right. It's it's similar though. But whose form? If you said you're building the ideal quarterback. Um, oh, give me arm. So it'd probably be nowadays it's, yeah. it would probably be Aaron Rodgers. Okay. You know, because his ability to throw the ball, he can throw from different angles, like the kid Mahomes can do it. Okay. So mobility. Mobility, arm strength, accuracy. Oh, so Aaron Rodgers is the perfect Russ, quarterback. Um, as far as his ability to play the game, and uh, that, you know, as far as throwing, I don't know if he's perfect. No one's perfect. But uh, yeah, he could he could bring it. When you're the other quarterback in the Super Bowl, as Jared Goff is, mm -hmm. how does he use that to his advantage? Where we're focusing on Brady, we're focusing on Belichick, and then here's Jared Goff. Maybe Gaunt. there's not as much attention, but if there is attention, it's the Super Bowl, yeah. no matter what. But maybe there's not as much attention because Tom is getting so much because he's been here every year for the last 20 years. You know, he's they're there every year. So uh, maybe that'll help from you know his standpoint. Maybe so it's not too big for him. Uh, but just take advantage of it. He's got an opportunity, great opportunity. Do you remember what that – pregame speech or that locker room was when you went out for your Super Bowl? You know, Coach Shula's pregame locker uh, speeches weren't, I mean, it was more just about getting, doing your job, you know, what you got to do. We didn't play music in a lot, you know, now they play a lot of music, <laughs> or there was no music. Everybody was kind of concentrating on what they got to do. But uh, it's hard to remember. It's been a while, so I don't remember the pregame speech. But when you go out there, I, I remember, you know, Troy Aikman talked about, like, you went out and, like, you almost want to throw up. Like, it's so big, and you've waited for yeah. this moment. All you want to do is have somebody hit you. You just want the game to start. Game to start, yeah. I mean, from what I remember, I was young. I still may be the youngest one to ever play in a Super Bowl quarterback. I don't know. What were you, 24 at the time? 23. 23? Yeah. But, uh, but uh, I remember, like, it felt like I was supposed to be there. You know, like it was. Well, the season you had. Yeah, right. Like we were supposed to be there. I felt pretty comfortable. Maybe that's probably why we lost. I don't know. <laughs> but, <it's, laughs> but uh, yeah. So, but, but Troy's right. I said to, it's, it's, when, you know, you get the feel of the game, it gets going. And it's really, you know, it's a football game. And you talked about this before that you think you're going to get back. And there'd be no reason for you not to think you're going to get back. Very true. And, and, you know, so the further you get away from it, then you're more like, God, is that the only time I'm going to get to a Super Bowl? So, yeah, later in my career, I started to think that way. Yeah, I mean, that, that might be the only time. And that's why, you know, you continue to play and you do everything you can to put yourself in that position.
but I definitely, when I, I was 23, I thought for sure I'd be back a few times. How many, how many touchdowns do you think you could throw in today's game? At, you know, let's say you're 23 years of age. 60. Do you really? You asked me this question last year. Yeah, you? and I want to know if it's the yeah, same it's, answer. Uh, it's 62. You could throw 62. <laughs> <laughs> no, because every time I watch. And I don't have to prove it, so it's good. Yeah. I can every say time whatever I want. I watch today's quarterbacks, and I can't help but think how far ahead you were of every one of these guys. So, we, we yes, we were doing things that, you know. People and you were throwing deep balls, too. It yeah, wasn't. We, there was no bubble, bubble screens. We didn't have that. You know, we were going down the field. Yes. And that's the one thing why they get more yardage now, because it's the RPOs, you know, the run pass options and. And uh, a lot you of wouldn't have the run. You wouldn't have the run so, part mean, of the run. If pass it was option. part of our offense, yeah, we would do that. But we didn't. I mean, that wasn't back then. You're throwing the ball down the field. You're not. You're yeah. Not throwing the I mean, ball. now it's just yeah. like doom, 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 doom. And then the little jet sweep that they throw. That's a pass. Tom Brady has rushed for a thousand yards in his career. Okay. I'm but, just saying that sounds pretty impressive. I mean, it's not necessarily yeah, it after 19 impressive. years. Does but, that count all the kneel downs too? Does that count? Well, he kneels forward. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. No, yes. I, every time I think he, it's a yard, they take a yard. No, off. he talked to the official when he got to a thousand. He said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna kneel forward. Don't count that as me kneeling back." Well, that shouldn't be legal. Well, why not? <laughs> do you know your career? You know how many yards you rush for? Yes. You, yes. you do? Yeah. <laughs> 80, Eighty-seven. Paulie? Eighty-seven on the nose. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> but. Once again, I ran for more yards than that because every time we won a game, you take the kneel down at the end, the victory snap. You know what I'm saying? That goes against you. Well, you didn't win a thousand games, therefore you I lost a lot. thousand yards. I, a lot. Uh, I know you're part of uh, Miami Super Bowl committee. Yes, yes. We well, already got the Super Bowl. So I know, but we're yes, we're getting it. But so for next next year, we're getting yeah. the Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah. So I'm part of the committee, and uh, and just uh, we're we're excited about having it in Miami. Can we you stay know? at your house? Uh, no. Could, all right. Because I could just no. bring the. Could I? But, I think? but it's the 11th time. 11th time it's going to be in Miami. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you're also uh, a part of Nutrisystem. Every year at Super Bowl, you come in. You yep. talk about how great it's been for you. Uh, would you like to give this audience an uh, opportunity and understand exactly? Well, the thing is, Nutrisystem for men, Monday is the biggest diet day decision for men of the year because during the playoffs and during the Super Bowl, no one's going to want to start a diet so monday is that day to make a decision to go on a diet and uh i've been this has been 13 years i've been working with them so it's been a good relationship and also i heard i don't know if this is true but the average football fan gains 10 pounds during the season is that i, I is that about close. right yes yes but you That's, don't i don't no how about you look at me you look great thank you yeah appreciate that good appreciate good. that it's nice appreciate that uh, Nutrisystem.com to get started today, and you can look like Dan. Now, their results may vary, but you may end up looking like Dan Marino. Outstanding. Yeah, you may look like him. Uh, during the commercial break, McLovin has his uh, wide receiver gloves on. Okay. And what what did you want to say, say well, to I, do, uh, Marino? I don't know. When he said he could throw it 40 yards, I don't know if I even need gloves with, with Dan. Let's see what's up. Well, last year you caught it. You did a good job. You caught it. Last year. Yeah. No, I and I yesterday I was wearing gloves that were old, like the, from the 90s. These new gloves are cheating. Yeah, it is. That's performance enhancing. Those yeah, gloves yeah. are performance enhancing, right? Yeah. I'm gonna these. All right. If you <laughs> <laughs> kids gloves, uh, if you're uh, watching on Audience Channel 239 Direct TV or the NBC Sports Network, you can see Dan try to uh, well, ruin McLovin's life coming up. It's uh, Nutrisystem.com for uh, everything you need. One in four football fans claim to gain an average of 10 pounds during the football season. Start your diet on Super Monday after Super Bowl Sunday. Perfect. Thank you, Dan. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.